Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Black Lion. Well, I'm here to, ha to answer a couple of questions. One, can I make it in Dubai by myself? Two, can I come to Dubai by myself on my own? Three, do I need a company or somebody to help me get a job in Dubai? Or I can do it by myself. Right, so this is why I made this video. I want to share a couple of tips with my brothers and sisters. I'm from Africa, by the way, and if you know, coming in Dubai, to Dubai, to Dubai, when you're an African, you have a lot of challenges to face. But I'm not saying challenges are bad. Challenges are good. They put you to the test, and they make you find out how really, you know, how tough and what you're made of. So, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to share with you a couple of tips because. I feel for some of my brothers and sisters out there who one of them, I mean one, one of the reasons you come and you get scammed, second reason you come and you trust other people and you have a lot of savings and your money is taken away and you don't get what you need to get. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a couple of tips that I want to pass on and I'll be drawing this from personal experience because I've been here in Dubai coming to seven years now. And all this time I've been moving, I've changed jobs more than, you know, four to five times. And these are legitimate, not for bad reasons. And these are le legitimate, you know, good jobs. So the question is, how do you get this? Because some of my brothers and sisters cannot get that and they want to know more of this. So this is the reason why I started this channel, to be able to share more from, drawn from experiences that I've got from myself and hope that it will help someone out there when they're in their in their struggle or in their you know quest to start a life in Dubai. One, if you're looking for a job and you want to start a life in Dubai, those are two things. But first of all, it all starts with you getting a visa. Now for this, you just get a company or a travel agency in your country where you are and you can apply for a tourist video visa. This is basic line information. It's not rocket science. This is information that is got everywhere but where I'm coming is, is how you do it once you have got yourself your visit visa. So, when you have your visa and you're looking for a job, find yourself point number two that's critical. It's accommodation, where you're going to live. So, you can either live in a hotel or you can have bed space. This is shared accommodation. My experience, I started off in a hotel. Why? Because I had family with me. So I left my country. I didn't know nobody. I didn't know anyone in this place. I didn't have any connections for job or anything. I didn't have any connections for accommodation. Everything started when I got into the plane, landed here, it started there, checked into the nearest hotel that was given to me or advised by the, the cab driver who, who brought us here. So, and I had one month, one month, ladies and gentlemen, in order to be able to get a job because after one month, it would be done and I'll have nowhere. So there was all that risk all there. But the risk is good because it challenged me to think more and more and more. And during that time, there was a lot of applications, a lot of moving in for interviews, there was a lot of finding here, here, because as every day draws by, it cannot come back. And every day draws closer and closer to the end of your, your one month visa. So within one month, my uh, due to, due to uh, much given luck, my creator helped and within one month I was able to find a job and move from the hotel apartment into accommodation space which was which was one room that I could afford at that time so this is what I did now for some of you who have accommodation space that you're looking at bed space it's also a good thing they start from they range from around one uh, around 500 dirham that's 500 dirham to onwards depending on the number of people in the room but something decent could be around that amount you can check so you gather your money enough to be able to sustain you for that period of time and then the hunt for job starts and during this time you be very focused don't allow distractions 
Don't allow so much to derail you from your goal because you have one month, remember, one month visa, or you have three months. And even then, three months visa doesn't look like, it seems like it's a long time, but actually it's so short. It starts every day that passes doesn't come back. You have to be. So within this time, you should be able to find a job and how to do it. I will be able to share this in my next video where I will explain step by step how I got mine from the first to the second to changing to the third and up to where I am right now. So be with me in my journey. I will share as much as possible. And I hope that it's going to help anyone, a brother or sister out there who's you know, looking to come to Dubai to settle in, to start a new life and to make it by themselves. Because now things have changed. You have the power to apply for everything by yourself. UAE is a very dynamic country and it has competition. Dubai in itself, you have to be tough and ready for competition because just as you're looking for a job, there's thousands of other people looking for the same job. So you have to set yourself apart. You have to be able to break barriers that will hinder you from getting one and get you in front of the right person and impress them enough in order to give you your first job. And also remember that what you start with is most likely what you're going to end up with. So be careful when you're settling in. Okay, so that I will give you more in the next video. Otherwise, thank you for being with me. If you watched until now, this is my first video. Maybe I've missed out a couple of information, but as we go on, I'll be adding more and more tips. And this is only drawn from experience. And I thank you for being a part of this journey with me or for starting this journey with me. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. You may subscribe right now in order to see my next video or but honestly I would really appreciate that if you really subscribe right now my, I would really need I would use that really I would really need it okay thank you so much and I believe you have been a bit, very bit good crowd and I hope to share with you more in my next video and uh, cheers for now and bye and have a good time